everybody I meet say to me, you must get bored. You must get absolutely bored going from north to south, south to north. I never get bored of it. No two trips are the same. I'm just easing the vessel into the terminal, nice and easy, trying not to bump alongside. The guys say we like to do it without cracking an egg. Some of us do it, some of us don't. I would, I would have cracked a box full with that one, but. They must vacate the vessel on completion of each crossing. Thank you for your attention. I play a lot of golf and when I'm quite a sociable guy and when I'm out, if ever they see me, they ask me what I do for a living. Everybody's interested in the job I do. Want to know what I'm up to. Yeah, I love it. I'm very proud. You get to see all the vessels that go by. Just get to see some beautiful vessels. In the reach at the moment, we've got some tall ships. Uh, that's a rare sight. Um, obviously looking down, I, I get to see all the cars, some nice cars that come on the vessel. Also, you get some amorous couples. They don't think to look up and see me. You can look over sometimes and you might see a little bit of kissing and cuddling and canoodling, and that's quite funny sometimes. I've been a bit wicked in the past, and if I see a couple having a little kiss and a cuddle, I often get on the phone and call my crewmates and tell them that the couple in a certain car needs some advice and direction. And that's a little bit wicked, I know, but I do enjoy doing that. 17 foot passengers, 31 on deck, south side. In the unlikely event of an emergency requiring evacuation, you will hear a series of short blasts, followed by a prolonged blast on the ship's horn. My dad worked on a tug. They were responsible for towing the rubbish out of London. And um, the company that he worked for put a modification on the tug which the crew of the tug, including my dad, didn't want because they felt it was dangerous. And uh, they put a bar over the top of the towing hook. Well, the day my dad was on there, the, the, uh, tow the rope slipped and it trapped my dad's hand. Every bone in his hand, it shattered. He broke his arm, obviously, and he was never the same after that. Part of the river where the accident happened is a place called Walbrook Dock. Yeah, but every time I pass there, I can't help looking over and thinking, yeah, that's where my dad's end of life really started, if I'm honest. Still miss him. People still talk about him. He was a bit of a character, my dad. I think I got a bit of his sense of humour, bless him. Yeah, I've cracked another egg. <laughs> Side egg. Click the videos to watch more Londoners and don't forget to subscribe.